Fish. As usual, I'm your host, Brian Big Fish Raglan. I'm an American Badass! Uh, today's actually a really special day. I'm really, really excited about it. Uh, I had mentioned before in some of my earlier vlogs, this is a, that's what we're calling them, it's either beer reviews, vlogs, uh, vlogs, vleers, I, I don't know what you call them. The point is, some companies, beer brewery companies actually have taken notice uh, I've actually sent out some feelers to some breweries. They've contacted me. They're actually sending me beer now to review, which is awesome. And they are sending me some really cool swag. Not only really, really cool beer, I've gotten some beer that uh, isn't even out yet for people to taste. We'll be reviewing those later. Not tonight, but we are reviewing a, another good beer tonight. But I have been receiving not only beer, uh, very cool things like a pint glass, some other cool stuff, coasters, posters, uh, some shirts on the way. The response has been really, really cool and the good thing is I get to review beer that I normally wouldn't be able to get here out in Georgia and hopefully um, some beer that may be in your neck of the woods that you didn't know about and I might be able to tell you about it. Hey, try this XYZ beer, maybe right around the corner from you and you wouldn't even know it. So. With, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Today we're going to review beer from Lost Coast Brewery. Okay, like I just told you, we are going to be reviewing beer today from Lost Coast Brewery. They were nice enough to send me out pint glass, I mentioned before, some posters, some coasters. And most importantly, they sent me out beer. Uh, they sent me out a couple of beers. We're going to review one tonight. Uh, one of the more popular ones, it's called uh, Great White Beer. The reason it's called Great White Beer has a lot to do with what's in the beer. Um, it has a lot of, a lot of malted barley, um, unmalted wheat, some secret spice with Humboldt herbs, which kind of gives it a really nice taste. And since it's unfiltered, the yeast naturally settles at the bottom and if you could put this up to the light you would be able to see right then and there right at the bottom that it has the settlement right there it's almost like sake if you pull out a really good bottle of sake you will notice that uh, it kind of has the rice water at the bottom that's what this is touting that it has a good amount of settlement down there this is going to be a really interesting taste really interesting pour Okay, all right, awesome. This is the perfect beer for this kind of weather. It's starting to heat up. Um, certain parts of the country are a lot warmer than others. Atlanta, we're actually starting to move into some heat. Uh, it's been chilly. One day it was like 73, the next day it was 43. Couldn't really get your head around, am I gonna drink really dark beer today? Do I drink really light beer today? Today was really good weather, I think it was about 68. And regardless of weather, I guess it's always a good time to drink beer or wine, whiskey, vodka, tequila, any of that. You can do any of that. Uh, some rare occasions you can even drink malt liquor. What's happening, baby? This here's Mo Fugger, brewer of the white famous Mo Fugger malt liquor. So, this is not one of those occasions. Today we're going to drink really good beer. This beer is great. It has got um, a finish that is spiced and... You're gonna find with that Humboldt spice, and there's some secret spices in there too that they're not divulging. It gives it a very light, crisp, and citrusy finish. Uh, it's it's really really nice, and it's not one of the beers that it's too complicated of a taste to where you drink it and you're like, ah, that's good, and I'll probably just have the one and I'll be done with it. This one mixes everything together 
but it flows really nicely, really, really light palette, really crisp. It's really cold right now too, which is good. Right now this beer is probably about 38, 40 degrees. Uh, for your lighter beers, it's exactly where you want it to be. For your darker beers, you can have it a little higher. Um, at least that's how I prefer it. Each expert is different. Um, it's kind of like scotch whiskey. Some people will pour it neat. Some people uh, put a little rocks in it. Traditionally, and I do have a buddy of mine that uh, only drinks it neat, his scotch neat. It's kind of like in these little serving glasses, Almost, not really shot glasses as much. Uh, he's also been known to open up a bottle and throw away the cork in the backyard and then we have to finish it. Uh, from I don't really remember a lot of that night. But we're going to bring him on the show and we're going to do a little comparison at a later date between um, some traditional scotch whiskeys compared to the good old US of A uh, bourbons. And what's the difference between a bourbon whiskey, a whiskey, Irish whiskey, scotch whiskey, and moonshine? <laughs> Some of those comparisons. We're gonna get into all that. I know right now, this has all been dominated by beer lately. Uh, that's just been kind of where we're going, but I am gearing up to do some other stuff, so please be patient with me. But back to this beer, Lost Coast Brewing Company. Uh, it, it is fantastic. They sent me six different beers. This is the first one that I'm trying. I, I like this beer. Um, if I were to rate it, I definitely, as far as like a light, light beer goes, it doesn't really have a, a category per se. I couldn't call it a lager. Um, it, it's great. It, it is good. You can sit on a back deck, on a porch, on a patio somewhere, with your sunglasses on in your shade. Sit this beer. It's very, very refreshing. Keep drinking and enjoy. Good night. <laughs> Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? <laughs> <laughs>